hello everyone and this is a request video i have already uploaded the video about uh, the differentiation of sphere mensa and correlation of two judges but uh, there is a request that can we do for the three judges so i'm going to take this problem forward if you see in this problem there is a beauty contest which uh, was going on and there are three judges you can name them uh, j1 j2 j3 and they have given certain ranks to the students uh, or the participants here so this could be you can you can call him judge 1 judge 2 and judge 3 so these are the three ranks are given to the participants have a little bit of idea how the ranks are been allocated on the scores here in the question one step ahead the ranks are given straight away you can see my previous video where i've told you how to assign the ranks so that is an important video which will let you understand that if the problem in the problem numerical data is given not the ranks are given then how you're going to come to this particular table and assign the ranks how do you have an understanding of rank i'll quickly repeat it uh, if I see the judge one scores for 10 participants, he has declared that participant number one is the winner, first rank to him. And participant number four has been given the last rank 10 here. Same way, judge R2 has actually declared participant number eight as a winner because he has given him rank one. And participant number, uh, judge number three has given participant number uh, five rank one. That means he declared that he is the winner. So we need to see that uh, by using rank correlation that which of the two, which pair of judges things are like that means which have the similar kind of thinking it is always good to have judges with the same kind of thinking because uh, then only you can reach to a concrete decision quickly now you're going to first need uh, as per the formula which i'll be displaying in the next slide you'll be needing uh, some uh, deviations or difference of scores between the judges so this is where i'm going to calculate the score between first and difference of scores between first and second judge first and third judge second and third judge and then we are going to square it up. There is a question which keeps coming whether we need to take R1 minus R2 when we are talking, taking the difference or R2 minus R1. But it becomes, uh, you know, imperative. It becomes pointless because ultimately we are going to square them up. So let's let's put it this way. Uh, 1, 2 is judge 1's rank and 2nd rank. So if the first entry is going to be 1 minus 3, which is ex exactly going to be minus 2. 6 minus 5 which is going to be 1, 5 minus 8 is going to be minus 3, 10 minus 4 is going to be 6, 3 minus 7 is going to be minus 4, 2 minus 10 is going to be negative 8, 4 minus 2 is going to be 2, 9 minus 1 is going to be 8, 7 minus 6 is going to be 1 and 8 minus 9 is going to be negative 1. Uh, let's square it quickly. D12 square minus 2 square is 4, 1 square is 1, minus 3 square is 9, 6 square is 36, 4 square is 16, 8 square is 64, 2 square is 4, 8 square is once again 64, 1 square is 1, and 1 square is 1. Now D13 so it shows you the difference of the ranks between first and third judge. So it is going to be 1 minus 6. First and third. 1 minus 6, which is negative 5. 6 minus 4 so it is i'm taking actually here i'm taking r1 minus r3 here i've taken r1 minus r2 and here i would be taking r2 minus r3 so a 1 3 1 minus 6 is minus 5 6 minus 4 is 2 5 minus 9 is negative 4 10 minus 8 is 2 3 minus 1 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 4 minus 3 is 1 9 minus 10 is minus 1 7 minus 5 is 2 8 minus 7 is 1. So this is what you get as D12. If you see, you can cross check. Is there any uh, any any problem as such? 1 minus 3. So let me check it. I think I did some mistake. 1 minus 6 is minus 5. 6 minus 4 is 2. 5 minus 9 is minus 4. 10 minus 8 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 minus 3 is 1. 9 minus 10 is minus 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. And 8 minus 7 is 1. So that's fairly good. Let's square it up once again. And it is going to be minus 5 square, which is 25. 2 square is 4. Minus 4 square is 16. 2 square is 4. 2 square is 4. 0 square is 0. 1 square is 1. Minus 1 square is 1. 2 square is 4. 1 square is 1. So we've got these numbers. Let's see 2, 3. That means R2 minus R3. So 3 minus 6, which is going to give you negative 3. Then 5 minus 4, which is 1. 8 minus 9, which is minus 1. 4 minus 8 is minus 4. 7 minus 1 is 6. 10 minus 2 is 
8 2 minus 3 is minus 1 1 minus 10 is minus 9 6 minus 5 is 1 9 minus 7 is 2 let's square them up once again 4 square is 16 uh, 1 square is 1 9 square is um, okay let's let's see which I'm doing yeah I'm doing it 2 d 2 3 square so 3 square okay I'm sorry 2 3 square so 3 square is 9 which I'm doing 1 square is 1 minus 1 square is 1 4 square is 16 here 6 square is 36 8 square is 64 minus 1 square is 1 9 square is 81 then 1 square is 1 and 2 square is 4 let's have their summations now that means for the squared values this is required for the formula summation here summation here and summation here so I'm going to get summation d12 square if I total it up, I am going to get a number called 200. When I am going to calculate d13 square, that is going to give me 60. And when I am going to do d of 23 square, that is going to give me 214. So remember these numbers, I am going to take them forward to the next slice. And how many entries we have, how many contestants we have, we have. 10 contestants that will be given by small n. Small n is equal to 10. So that is the calculation of first slice. You can pause, you can check, you can do it by yourself. Let's move to the next particular portion of the problem. This is what, what the formula of Spearman's correlation coefficient looks like. I am going to write the previous calculations. You have got d12 square as 200. You have got the difference between first and third judge d13 square that was 60 and you have got d of 2 3 the difference of square and their sum between second and third judge is 214 while your numbers of observations were 10. so let us calculate the coefficient of correlation between first and second judge so i am talking about first and second judge let's plug in the values 1 minus uh, it is going to be 1 minus here. There is a mistake in the formula. So it is it is I'm just I'm just going to rewrite it So it will be like 1 minus 6 summation of d square divided by n if you take common out it will be n square minus 1 So let's go ahead with it. So it will be 6 right here multiplied by deviation some square so what is the deviation for first and second judge it is 200 right here r12 so 200 divided by n which is 10 and then 10 square minus 1 you do a little uh, you know arithmetic do a little algebra and what you are going to do get is 0 0.212 same way i'm going to do it for first and third judge r13 so I used this value already here. Now I'm going to use 1, 3 here. It will be same way, 1 minus 6 times, 6 times summation d square, which is going to be 60 this time, divided by 10 times 10 square minus 1. And if you calculate this, this is going to give you a value 0 0.636. Let's go for the last one. I'm going to go for second and third judge. What is the Spearman rank for that? 6 times. I know it is 214 divided by 10 times 10 square minus 1. And then when I end up this calculation, I'm going to get negative 0 0.297. This is a negative correlation. Negative correlation means judge 2 and 3 have this kind of relation. That means they are both thinking in opposite direction strongly positive strong strongest correlation this is also in same direction but weak so if i need to conclude this entire thing i would say this correlation is the strongest and judge one and three are thinking or have their judgment alike it is very important, you know, two alike minded judges, if you keep, then only you can get the right kind of result. Assume a situation when judge 
two and three are judging a particular contest which are thinking in opposite direction so in that case you will not be able to reach a conclusion everything is going to be in between somewhere one participant is going to declare for someone else one judge is going to declare someone else winner and some uh, second judge will declare someone else winner and you will not be able to reach to a conclusion and this this is just because judge a may be thinking that intelligence must have the maximum marks and judge three must be thinking that personality has the maximum marks and in your score sheet you have component for both the items so thank you very much i think i have uh, made it clear that how exactly the problem related to three judges in spearman's rank correlation coefficient can be solved thank you